RU58841. Is it the hair loss wonder drug that it's often claimed to be? What exactly is it? And how can you get it? But most importantly, should you get it? All the answers coming right up. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to be grow their hair. Just before we get into the video, if you want to get access to the totally free hair loss nutrition plan, then you can click the link in the description. You get 21 delicious recipes designed specifically for faster, stronger hair growth. The meals are loaded with nutrients like biotin, zinc, and collagen to make hair as thick and strong as possible. So RU58841, is not a recent drug. It was first developed in the 1970s by French scientists. The scientists were looking into treatments for prostate cancer, but after testing it on rats, they found that it actually promoted hair growth. Now, RU58841 is a quote, non-steroidal anti-androgen. So in other words, it inhibits the action of androgens, including DHT. And the way that it does this is by binding to the androgen receptor. When it binds, it doesn't activate it like DHT it just blocks it so that DHT and the other androgens can't activate it. Now, as I said, RU58841 started getting serious attention when it was observed to promote hair growth in rodents. And further animal studies in the 90s confirmed that it could also grow hair topically. Reportedly, this could be achieved at a third of the dose required to produce systemic side effects. So the drug had significant topical activity, even at low doses. And the animal results were very, very promising. Most of the research was done on stump-tailed macaques. These are a species of monkeys that can go bold, and in a similar pattern to men. So they are often used as a proxy for humans in hair loss research. In the first study, macaques were treated with oral finasteride, or topical RU. On average, the RU increased follicles in the antigen growth phase by 103%. This compared to 88% with finasteride. A follow-up study compared various strengths of RU namely 5, 3, 1, and 0.5%. Treatment lasted up to two years. It was found that 5% solution gave the best results, and these started to show after three months. Overall, the macaques in the 5% group had denser, thicker, and longer hair. 3% and lower solutions weren't powerful enough to give good or consistent results. A few years later, a company called Prostacon acquired the rights to RU58841, and it was then renamed to PSK3841. To keep things simple for this video, we'll just call it RU, which is what everybody else still calls it. So, Prostracon did two clinical trials on humans in the early 2000s. The first was a phase one study to assess its safety, and it was done in France. 30 men with male pattern boldness applied 5% solution on their head twice a day for four weeks. Now, to the best of our knowledge, the results of this study were actually never made public. But they must have been pretty good, because the company then ran a phase two trial. The phase two trial compared placebo to two solutions of RU, a 2.5 and a 5% strength. The total sample size was 120 balding men, and they were treated over six months. Again, this study was never published, so we don't have the full results. But according to what got out, the results were as good as what you get with finasteride, if not better. After these successful trials, the company planned to go ahead with a phase three trial. But interestingly, this never happened. And to this day, nobody knows exactly why. Some say it's because the drug is too unstable and it has a limited shelf life, but we doubt that that's the case. The solution is stable for up to a year in low temperatures, which is way longer than it takes for a bottle to be used up. Of course, you have to account for the time that it takes to reach the consumer from the point of production, but still, if the shelf life was an unsolvable problem, it's unlikely that Prostacon would have ever invested the money into running two expensive trials in humans. Others say it's because RU would have a difficulty competing with finasteride. Finasteride is also an antiandrogen, but it has the advantage of being a pill. So according to this view, RU would have been at a disadvantage being that it's a topical. Again, we don't find this a very satisfying explanation, given that RU probably has an advantage over finasteride in terms of side effects. Precisely because it's used topically, and it doesn't systemically smash your endocrine system like finasteride. Now, this isn't to say that RU is free from side effects, but we'll come to that a little bit later on. And compared to minoxidil, RU has the advantage of being applied only once daily, as well as presumably giving slightly better regrowth. So to be entirely honest, we have no idea why the research stopped. If you guys have any good thoughts, we'd love to hear them in the comment section. Let me know down below. Now, whatever the case, a few years later, 
Prostakin were acquired by a Japanese company and the research just completely stopped, at least in humans. So it's pretty clear that we'll never see RU58841 on the market. So guys, I'm going to be entirely honest here, as we don't have any published research in humans, all the side effect information that I'm about to discuss comes from comments and testimonials that users of RU58841 have shared online. So do take it with a grain of salt and remember that this is for information purposes only. Now many users experience no side effects whatsoever. They just get good results with not so much as a hint of side effects. However, there are others that report a variety of side effects. Eye problems seem to be common, including redness, blurred vision, and stinging of the eyes. Other users do report some sexual slash hormonal side effects, including gynecomastia, loss of libido, and erection problems. We've also seen users report symptoms like chest pain and cardiac side effects. All these side effects do reportedly stop when treatment is discontinued, and some users also report getting rid of them simply by lowering the dose. But again, all this is just from anecdotal accounts of users, so take it for what it's worth. How do you purchase it? Well, despite not being FDA approved, RU can be purchased online, and it is sold for quote, research purposes. So that means people can purchase it and do their own research on their own head. You basically have two options. You can buy the prepared solution, or you can buy the pure powder and prepare your own solution with a vehicle. The prepared solution will obviously save you a lot of hassle. But if you go for the powder, you can experiment with various vehicles and see which ones give you the best results with the least amount of side effects. Plus, it will end up costing you a lot less in the long run. The solution is typically kept in the fridge and the powder stays in the freezer. So guys, what is our verdict on RU? Now, obviously RU isn't something that we can recommend. At this point, it's basically just a research chemical. It's not even a drug that you can use off label. It is just purely a chemical. So you won't be able to get a doctor to prescribe this for you and you'll have to source it off the internet. Now, the main issue here is not efficacy. By all accounts, this stuff works for hair growth and it's probably on par with finasteride and minoxidil if not slightly more effective. Now, the problem is safety. And it's not just that RU isn't FDA approved. It's more the lack of research on humans and particularly the lack of safety data, be it short-term or perhaps more importantly, long-term. So there are lots of guys out there who take this stuff and they swear by it. And they say that it hasn't given them any side effects. And I have absolutely no reason to doubt them. But there are lots of other guys that don't have the same experience. There seems to be a bit of a disconnect between the rosy picture that you get in the literature uh, of the drug having like minimal systemic absorption and the kind of reality that many users report where the side effects go beyond the scalp area and the systemic even sexual now i have no doubt that some of these side effects are down to guys not preparing the ru correctly or even possibly applying too much but here's the thing this is what you get when you're dealing with a quote research chemical that is not sold for human consumption and that you either have to prepare yourself or buy it online from some dodgy website. Guys, let us know in the comments if you've used RU, and if you click the video on the screen now, you can learn more about Will's story and the truth about male pattern boldness.